Hi Leo, welcome to your reading. How are you? I hope everything is fine with you. This is your general love reading for the first week of June. I'll try to get as many details as possible. I will be looking at the current energies, the energies in the near future, the person on your mind and other details as well. But keep in mind this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with all of you. If you are new here, welcome as well. And I invite you to subscribe because I pause videos every day. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's shuffle three more times the deck and let's see what do we have here. Let's start with the energies around you right now. You will be getting attention, Leo. You will be getting options and you will need to choose. I think you will have options. There are many great options here. People are uh, wanting to invest into you, invest, uh, invest attention. They have desire. I see success in all areas, not just love, but business. You being on the spotlight, being for good reasons, having success, victory, Knight of Cups. And because this is a love reading, here we do have that love energy. There's a prince or princess charming coming your way, trying to love bomb you. Uh, lots of compliments. Now, I do like that's a very warm feeling kind of energy there with that Knight of Cups and Six of Wands. This is not the most stable energy, but it might be just the beginning. We never know yet how this might go, but the beginning seems very, very promising. I have fire here and water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It might be another Leo as well. I think you should be more open to invitations. You may get signs. Somebody will connect to you through others. Somebody might introduce you to this new person. If this is not a reunion with somebody from the past, it might be with this Three of Cups. But I see you being very, very charming. It's like you are a magnet and people are very much attracted to you. You have so much uh, power uh, and uh, yes, very good energies here. Now let's see what is affecting you in your subconscious at this moment of time. Some communication that you might have wanted with somebody or want with somebody. Some distance here as possible, you know better. Okay, you are thinking about the past situation here and you want to communicate. Because you might have not released that past story completely. Even though you may not be totally aware. Because this is happening in the subconscious. Now let's see what was the main challenge in the past. Lots of waiting, but very little progress or none at all. I think you invested so much into a situation, but the outcome was not what you expected or was very, very little. And you were waiting, hoping time would heal this, time would show you some ways that this will be repaired. But it was not the case. Now your focus is to move forward. You want to open a new chapter, a new better one. You're ready for better luck. I think things will be moving forward and you will have much success. I have fixed signs here as well. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo and Scorpio as well. But, okay, Leo. I see you having options. I see people desiring you, wanting to get to know you, wanting to reconnect. So take what resonates. With that strength card, there's some resistance. I think this is from you. Because you have some fears, insecurities, you have reasons, you have good reasons because of what might have happened in the past to you in your previous connection. But don't let this uh, resistance, lack of trust, in others make you miss some good opportunities that is some good advice i have for you don't miss on some good opportunities here reflect don't uh, 
don't take action immediately but reflect and then decide now let's see about the person that is on your mind what are their energies they reflect a lot they are a bit withdrawn they are feeling alone i have virgo here i have air and water okay this person regrets a lot what they did um, they want to change the story but they feel powerless this person wants to communicate to you they want to talk fast but they can't something is holding them back let's see what is holding them back despite them feeling ashamed or having regrets and think like you may never uh, forgive them they want to give to the situation and they want to be more stable more solid mature and serious with you and that's what they want to communicate they hope that you saw the best version they've become that's what they think and reflect now let's see about the energies in the near future for you something unexpected but i think this is very good you would not expect okay three of swords the hierophant okay this is interesting what does this mean the tower three of swords and the hierophant let's clarify i have scorpio i have taurus here as well why is this taurus uh this uh, hierophant energy here what is this overall energy okay start slowly leon i think you're doing right here when i saw this strength card i think you will be following your intuition this is a good thing uh, yes be open to opportunities and don't miss any but don't rush to make a decision immediately there's so much pain and hurt here that has happened from the past i think that what happened to you was a bit unexpected and ace of pentacles eight of swords nine of pentacles this is a time to focus more on yourself i think focus more on yourself your work your career you have been hurt i don't see you having healed completely you need some more time to heal completely i see you a bit guarded indecisive being very logical you want a serious connection you don't want anything casual that's why you are guarded that's why you think too much okay the message i'm getting here as well is that you have a potential here that is marriage potential uh possible serious connection that might lead to marriage long-term commitment a serious commitment but you're guarded you're withdrawn you're hesitant you're being too logical some of you are waiting for a past person as well deep inside you might feel a bit alone you might feel a bit broken what happened in the past was not easy and has not healed completely it is healing you have done a great job but it needs more time the wound to be healed completely for you to jump into a new relationship that's why i think you should more focus on you be open to opportunities but don't rush anything i think you are not ready yet that's what i'm getting you are not ready yet let's hope this is not the case of the right person but the wrong time if this is meant to be it will happen don't worry about that let's see what is the advice for you let's see more what is the advice for you the lovers 
the Four of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Focus more on yourself, the work. Get to know new people, but don't commit immediately. Don't commit immediately. This is a message I'm getting. Don't get illusions. Because you might get illusions easily here. There's a connection that seems very... Uh, very important here or there's a strong chemistry here with the lovers and you need to choose between a new person and a past person that's a decision you need to make as well but okay focus on you that's what i'm getting you will have potentials you will have options and with this knight of cups there's a prince princess charming coming your way but as i said this is knight of cups this is not king or queen of cups Enjoy the experience. Get to know them because you will get to know yourself more as well because of this interaction. That's what I'm having. Okay, this was the general reading. I hope this reading was helpful. Again, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe or like the video. It helps a lot. And if you don't want to miss the daily videos I post here, don't forget to subscribe. I'm opening some spots about personal readings uh, if you are interested you can request a personal reading in my email address everything is in the description uh, box below this video if you are interested okay hope this reading was helpful see you the next reading and bye for now